Uh, can you explain uh, Trojan horse deductible law? Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of roofers supported, and actually the roofing association supported uh, making it illegal to suck up deductibles, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and I see, you know, when I go to these conferences and stuff, um, I see contractors going, yeah, you know, contractors going, yes, put that guy in jail. He's waiving deductibles. It's a crime. I want my competitor. Because it's doing. hard to compete against. Yeah, because that's what you're thinking. You're thinking it's the guy across the street. He can waive the deductible. I can't, right? It's not fair. Well, why should waiving of deductibles be a crime? Why should it be a crime? Uh, it is a crime because it's been made to be a crime because we legislated it that's a crime. Why shouldn't I be able to take less profit than market at the end? Because we've now made it a crime. We have now made it a crime to be able to do that. So here's the problem. The problem with the current law that's been passed is that it's not illegal to waive deductibles under the current law because there's a loophole. Okay, what's the loophole? Loophole, is it Texas only or entire country? Entire United States. Okay. In fact. That's the, what's a tra Trojan I, horse? It's a Trojan horse. You know the story of the yes. Trojan horse? It looks yes. like something, but there's a trap in it. Got okay? it. It's something else. So what the, what the roofing companies, the roofing associations, what the roofing associations and the carriers went to legislature and they said, nobody should be able to waive deductibles so that there's an even playing field and the roofing company supported it. What they didn't realize is that in the law, there's a loophole that was written that says that the, the insurance companies can waive the deductible. Anytime an insurance company chooses the contractor, the deductible can be waived. So what happens is now, the way the law is written, the only person that can't waive the deductible is the contractor on the job. If you are now on a job, on any job, your, the insurance company, can choose your competitor across the street, bring them to the table, and that deductible can be waived and yours can't. And usually they do it uh, via their programs, correct? Yeah, people are thinking it happens in managed repair programs, but not necessarily anymore. They can use anybody. Imagine what happens now. Now you go, you have had to pay a commission, you've done remote staging, you've been on the job, you got the thing, you have your bid with your customer, and now the insurance company can go and say, look across the street and see a yard sign of your competitor who just did the roof across the street. Dial that number, call that roofer over. That roofer doesn't have to pay a commission. Do they really practice it? Do they tell homeowners that you don't have to pay? Because I guess if insurance company pays directly to the contractor, homeowner doesn't have to now pay to the contractor because it's just deducted. Well, what is happening more and more is that the insurance companies are realizing they don't like your bid. I can bring in another roofer and that roofer doesn't have to pay a commission. That roofer is guaranteed the money, unlike you were, okay? He can do it for cheaper, even if the deductible wasn't waived because they don't have to pay, a generally there's a commission associated with having to get that job. Can cut out your, the commission that you had to pay, your salesperson. So they can bring somebody to the table and on top of that, they can allow that, that contractor to waive the deductible. So that person can do it cheaper. And guess what? If there's a dispute over scope, their guy will do it for less. Their guy will not do as good of a job. Their guy will agree. Your competitor will agree. In one of the WTS, I was debating, people see me debate Steve Badger on the deductible, and I usually debate him on deductibles. Well, guess what? He went around WTS, and he got business cards from roofers that he collected, not from managed repair programs, but from and he said, look, I can give you some business. I may be able to refer you to business. Did. Badger did. Now, what is he doing? It's because he doesn't like this roofer. So he brings in a roofer to compete with that roofer on the job. They can now do this. So what's happened is the deductible law is a Trojan horse. 
It's not illegal to waive deductibles. The only person that can't waive deductibles is the choice of contractor of the property owner. Let and that see. sets up a terrible situation. Let me ask you this. How can someone, how, come, how can that contractor start working with an insurance company? If I'm a contractor and I really want an insurance business, like what agreement do they have? Like when the insurance brings someone, uh, if it's not managed repair program, it's relationship building, right? But how can we earn insurance uh, business? Because so many contractors tried and failed to, to be preferred on insurance status. Essentially, you have to agree with their pricing. You have to play by the rules. A lot of times you almost promise and guarantee them you're not going to supplement and blah, blah, blah. Because if, for them to give you jobs, for them to bring that contractor across the street, they have to guarantee that he will play how they want him to play, yeah. which means less money. So how does that work? Here's the danger. And this is, it's more, it's worse than you think, Dimitri because it's not just that they're making less money. I don't worry about the issue about them making less money, okay? First off, they can avoid the commission so, so they can do it cheaper. The contract- What commission are you talking about? Okay, so most roofing companies have a salesman, Yeah, 10%. okay? And they have to pay the salesman mm -hmm. part of the roofing company's contract, yep. all right, to get the job when you get referred it directly to the roofing company, sales you can commission. cut out the sales commission. So you cut out the sales commission. So, the, you, so the, the danger of the deductible law is that they can say to the homeowner, I could bring in somebody to do it cheaper, and they can every time. Why? Because they can bring somebody to the table, and they have a competitive advantage, and they can cut out the sales commission. And there's no risk of payment for a regular roofing contractor. There's a, there's a risk of payment. You got to bake into this. Well, if you know you're guaranteed from the insurance company, you can do it cheaper. Remember we talked about before? We talked about can you charge this insurance company uh, more expensive than you can do a retail customer? Yes, you can. Why? That's bigger risk. You don't know if he's going to pay you. Well, if that becomes the retail customer, if you know that the, if the, if you're getting the guarantee of the insurance company, if they bring you into a job, any roofer can get to do that cheaper and make the same profit. You don't have to pay a commission. But what the deductible law makes it worse because you can say to the homeowner, if you go with my guy, you don't have to pay a deductible. To the homeowner, that may make the difference of whether or not they can put the roof on. So the deductible law is very, very insidious and dangerous and nasty and corrupt because they can bribe the homeowner. It's a free roof. If you go with Dimitri, it costs you. If you go with my guy, it's free. How do you compete with that? You can't. And, the, and ironically, the roofers thought they were passing this deductible law to stop unfair competition. Can, we, st did. can we modify it? Can we lobby yes. that insurance companies cannot waive deductible either? Yes, I think you need to call RCAT. Every single roofer needs to call RCAT and say the existing deductible law is wrong because it sets us up for the competition. It sets us up for the ultimate competition. You can never compete with a contractor brought in by the insurance company. And it can be your biggest competitor in your market that, the, that Stephen Badger can call to the table, cut out your commission that you agreed, and he can waive the deductible. Now, what's really happening? What's the motivation? that the insurance company wants another roofer. Is it really to save the person money? No. Why? The biggest danger of managed repair pro uh, programs or programs where you've got it is that the contractor has a conflict of interest now with the property owner on scope. Imagine the price is the same. The problem is on scope because that contractor is not going to bite the hand that feeds them. And does it matter? Okay, I do less of a scope, less of a job, less of labor, less of materials, I and I make profit. So I'm always going to agree with my scope of my boss, the guy writing a check. I'll never bite the hand that feeds him, and especially won't bite the hands that feeds him here because next time I won't get the job. And so I can get a guaranteed price. This is the danger 
When you look at the managed repair programs of, you know, Progressive used to say, don't worry, we'll fix your car. We always know they're fixing with, with, with aftermarket parts. They're fixing it with less of a quality and scope. And that's where the danger is. So what's important? How do we get around this? We get around it by educating our consumer, by explaining all of this. You're explaining that, look, I'm truly on your side. For them, it's a slogan. <laughs> Love it.